Hello, it's Eno. I would like to broadcast Eno Sands Logistics Radio. Today, I would like to talk about U.S. West Coast Agreement. Talks continue after deadline. Prospects unclear. On July 1st, PMA, the Employers Organization for U.S. West Coast Ports and ILWU, the labor union, issued a joint statement. They made it clear that they will continue to negotiate for a new agreement after the current collective bargaining agreement is terminated. At this time, there is no new information beyond a statement of intent to continue negotiations, and there is much uncertainty about the prospects for negotiations. Let me explain the history to date. The current collective agreement between ILWU and PMA expired at 5 p.m. on July 1st. The two sides began negotiations in May, suspended negotiations later that month, and resumed negotiations in June. However, the details of the negotiations were not communicated to the outside world, and no significant movement was made until the expiration of the agreement in July. In this year's labor management negotiations, PMA, the employer's side, stated that the following would be its basic policy in the conduct of the ongoing discussions on the operation. 1. Provide world-class treatment to dock workers. 2. Prioritize safety and training. 3. Modernization of terminals to accommodate increased cargo. 4. Compliance with environmental regulations. ILWU is strongly opposed to these policies leading to automation, and the biggest focus of the current labor management negotiations is how to handle automation in ports. Currently, the labor side is working in a slowdown strategy to linger. There is a background of low demand in North America this year, with high interest rates, less buying, and consumption shifting to services. Even though demand is low, it will be interesting to see how the slowdown affects us. I will keep you updated on what happens. That's all for today. Thank you.